Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. First of all, on the daily time frame, you can see that we are again getting rejected from this descending line of resistance. However, at the same time, we have just been in this descending channel, which is just a consolidation pattern for Bitcoin. So it is critical that we actually hold this level of support at 58.5K if we actually go that low. And another key indicator to watch is actually the bull market support band because soon we will actually see this bull market support band trade inside of this descending channel. So that would really be a critical time for the Bitcoin price to actually trade to the upside, because in the case that we do trade below the bull market support band, then likely we will see much lower prices in the short term. And now taking a look at the RSI momentum indicator on the daily time frame, you can see that recently we had this descending line of resistance where we got rejected from that level of resistance over and over again. However, recently we actually broke to the upside and have now tested it once, potentially testing it twice if we do see the price trading lower. However, if we do hold that RSI level of support successfully, then we could see a bounce from there. And in that case, we would start to see more bullish momentum in the Bitcoin price. However, now looking at the four hour time frame for Bitcoin, we can see a very serious warning signal right here because we do have this symmetrical triangle pattern that has already broken out to the downside. However, the breakout is not fully confirmed in my opinion because we do have to see some more candle closes on the four hour time frame to really call for a confirmed breakout. But in the case that we do get that breakout, the confirmed price target would actually be about 52,000 US dollars. And actually, if you have been watching my videos from the very beginning, I found something very similar, another symmetrical triangle pattern when we were trading all the way up at 67K with a confirmed price target of 58K. And at the time that looked completely insane, but in the end, we did actually go all the way down to that 58K level. And in fact, even a little bit below that. So even though right now this looks completely insane, going to 52K, because there are a lot of support levels in between. I do want to say that if we get that confirmed breakout, which I will confirm in my next video, then the active price target would be 52,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. However, in the case that we do just see the price trading back inside this range again, inside this symmetrical triangle pattern and potentially break out to the upside, for example, then the confirmed price target would be roughly 73,000 US dollars for the Bitcoin price. And ultimately this pattern will break out before the 14th of May, which is already in a couple of days. Now, if you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, taking a look at these short-term support and resistance levels. First of all, we have this descending line of support that we are currently trading below on the four hour time frame. However, it hasn't confirmed the candle close below. So potentially we could still see a bounce from here. However, in the case that we do see confirmed candle closes below Below the level, then it actually turns this trend line into a level of resistance. Either way, Bitcoin is currently trading in a massive level of support from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. However, in the case that we do lose that level of support, so we trade below 60,000 US dollars, then likely the price will go to the next big level of support below that, which is sitting from about 58,000 US dollars all the way down to 56.5K. And in the case that we do trade back to the upside, the key level to watch is this 63.3K level in the short term. However, the next big level of resistance is all the way up here from 65K all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame, And don't worry if you are not familiar with this chart, all you simply need to know is that typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. And today we actually took out a massive level of liquidity at about 60.5 K during this quick move to the downside. So in the short term, we have taken out a lot of liquidity to the downside, but there is more liquidity all the way down to 58.7K, roughly speaking. So that is something noteworthy. Just like I said in my previous video yesterday, before this dump even happened, a lot of liquidity is right here to the downside. 
And zooming out to the one week time frame, you can see that there is again a lot of liquidity to the downside. However, right now there is also some short term liquidity building up to the upside. So that is potentially something to look out for. First of all, there's some liquidity right above this level of resistance at 63.6k and the liquidity goes all the way up to 66,000 US dollars, which you can also see on the one month time frame because right here we do have a lot of liquidity at 65.7k and then above that most of the liquidity is to the upside at 67.3k and like i have been repeating in my videos over and over again even when we were all the way down here i do think that at some point we are going to take out these big levels of liquidity first of all at 67.3k and then even above that at 71.8k However, in the short term, it's definitely possible, just like yesterday before this crash even happened, it is definitely possible that we take out more liquidity to the downside first before taking out this liquidity to the upside. But since we are in a bull run, I do think that at some point we are going to take out these levels of liquidity. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, you can see that yesterday we had a net outflow of about $11 million. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. We have just seen pretty normal action from these Bitcoin ETFs. Grayscale selling tens of millions on that single day on Thursday. And the rest of the Bitcoin ETFs just buying very small amounts of Bitcoin. So nothing really crazy going on here. And therefore, I don't want to spend too much time on it and waste your time. So moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame. Recently, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level at $4,000 and then traded all the way to the 0.5 Fibonacci level at 2860, roughly speaking. And right now in the short term, you can see that we are actually at a critical moment right now because we are testing that 0.5 Fibonacci level again. And in the case that you do see the price trade below that level with confirmed candle closes then in that case we will definitely be looking at much lower prices for ethereum so let's take a look at some short term support and resistance levels for eth right now first of all on the daily time frame you can see that we are still just in this massive massive downtrend with the most recent rejection from that trend line being at about 3200 dollars however there's also potentially some support to the downside which is currently sitting as of today at about 2870. So let's take a look at some actual support and resistance levels that will be sitting in between these two trend lines. Now, zooming in on the four hour time frame, recently we got rejected from this big level of resistance, which is sitting from 3150 all the way up to 3250, where we quickly traded all the way to the downside, getting a little bit of a bounce from this level of support. However, right now just crashing even further to the downside. And this level of support is sitting from $3,000 all the way down to $2,850. And right here, you can see that Fibonacci level, that 0.5 Fib level that I talked about earlier, which is sitting roughly at $2,865. And in the case that we do see the price trade lower than this level right here, so the $2,850 level would be the last line of defense really for Ethereum. In that case, the next big level of support is below that at $2,720 all the way down to 2600 US dollars for the price of ETH. That's about it for the bearish scenarios though. In the case that you do see the price trade higher, well, we might face some short-term resistance at about $3,050. But in the case that we do see the price trade higher from there is like I said, from 3150 to 3250. But above that, the key level to actually break is this 0.618 Fibonacci level at 3330. So that is something to definitely look out for if you want to see ETH move higher in the long term. Now taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame, also getting rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level and then trading all the way to the 0.5 Fibonacci level at $133 where we got a bit of a bounce. However, right now we must take a look at the short term price action for Solana because recently, as you can see, we got rejected from this short term level of resistance, which is sitting roughly at $160, just like I called out in my recent videos. But after trading to the downside and getting a bit of a bounce from this level of support, we are now trading back inside that level again. And the level is from about $150 all the way down to $140 for Solana. 
And in the case that you see the price trade below that $140 level with confirmed candle closes, then the next big level of support below that is from 133 all the way down to $125. Though if we just get a higher low, for example, and trade above that 160 short-term level of resistance, then the next big level of resistance above that is from about 166 up to $171 for Solana. Now, if you want to join a crypto community, I highly recommend you join my Discord server because we have been seeing some crazy trades in the chats right here with a lot of the members in here getting some awesome trades. So if that is something you are interested in joining, then I highly recommend you join my Discord server with the first link in the description of this video. This has been today's market update. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.